Hello and welcome to the video review of the Fractal Design Core 3000. So this is a relatively inexpensive case that offers really nice design, great build quality, and tons of features. The front of the case features a very nice honeycomb design to increase airflow, and behind that there's a small filter to prevent dust and noise. On top of the case, there is four USB 2.0 ports, so not 3.0 just yet. There's also the power reset buttons and the two audio jacks. The front panel can be easily removed to install an additional 120 millimeter fan. There's also a 140 millimeter fan included. Speaking of fans, this case can hold seven of them. In addition to the fans I mentioned earlier, there's also two slots for 120 or 140 millimeter fans on top. There is a 120 millimeter fan slot on the bottom, another 120 millimeter fan slot on the rear, and one more 120 or 140 millimeter fan slot on the side panel. Taking a look inside the case, you can see there are six hard drive bays. Each of these bays is compatible with 2.5 and 3.5 inch drives, which means you could even install SSDs in this system without any brackets. The upper cage is removable and rotatable, and if you choose to remove it, you'll increase airflow. All six of the hard drive trays are very high quality, they're completely painted white, and they have some silicone on them to prevent vibration and noise. This case is compatible with standard ATX size motherboards and power supplies. It also features seven expansion slots for all your expansion needs. There's quite a lot of room in the back of the case for cable management, so you shouldn't be running into too many issues when trying to tidy up your cables. Besides the case itself, they also include a fan controller, a box with standard mounting accessories, and a adapter if you want to install a card reader in the front panel. So overall, this is a pretty fantastic case. The build quality is absolutely fantastic, and the amount of features Fractal Design packed in here is outstanding. So as always, if you did like this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button right above if you're using the old YouTube interface. And if you're on Cosmic Panda, that button is right below. So until next time, thanks for watching.